So today we're going to look at the vector equation of a line. Now you've done equations of a line before, but they've been in two dimensions. Now we can extend this and find out vectors in three dimensions or vectors in two dimensions. And when we had a line before, we often dealt with something like y equals 3x plus 2, and 3 is the slope, and 2 is the y-intercept. And you'd go over 1, up 3, and there you'd have your line. Now the idea with vectors is what you can do is every point on the line is a position vector. So the point 0, 2, well, that's this position vector. And this point right here, which is 1, 5, is this position vector. And when we had our equation of our line, we would know that we have 2 as our y-intercept, and 3 was our slope, so we could find any other point on the line by just going over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3. But that seemed to work really well for just finding over 1, up 3. There's also points in between. So the idea with a vector equation line is very similar to our equation of a line that we've learned in the past with y equals mx plus b. With our line that we learned in the past, we had a specific point happened to be the y-intercept that we started with. With a vector equation of line, we don't have to start with the y-intercept. We start with any point. So here, we've got a point A. And we have a point R, and we have a point C, and all three of those points are on this line. Now we want to come up with an equation of that line. We need the same sort of thing as a y-intercept and a slope. What we're going to do for a vector equation of line is just start with any point. So in this case, I'm going to start with A is my point, but it doesn't matter which one. And then we need to know something similar to the slope. And the slope of a vector equation, we just describe as its direction. If it's going from A to C, that's the direction of this vector. And some of the vector things that we've been working on before is saying, well, if I wanted to find this point R, which is on my line, what I could do with vectors is I could go to A, and then I could turn in the direction of A to C and just go a portion of the way, and I would get to R. And depending on how I change that portion, if I make the portion longer or shorter, or negative if I want to go in the other direction, I can hit any point on this line that I would like. And if you put all of those points together, you get an equation of a line. Because an equation of a line is a way to find any point on that line. So there's an explanation with diagrams. With the words that I have here, what I'm saying is, OR, which is this vector right here, you could get there, like I said, by going from O to A and then A to R. That's the same as going from O to R. Well, I could change this part A to R, sorry, yeah, by just going a portion of A to C. And that's what this T there is doing. It's saying you're going some portion of the direction from A to C. And since A to C is the same thing as going a negative A plus C, that will call our direction vector. And you can write it as C minus A instead of negative A plus C. But either way you want to write it is fine. This means that you can find any point on the line that includes A to C by starting at point A. So this A is any starting point. 
then traveling in the direction that goes from A to C. And this T just determines, we'll say, how far in that direction. Wow, that says direction. So you have any point, any vector is a starting point. You know the direction of your line because you have another point. Now this direction is very much like our slope. Because we start with a point and we use the slope. In some ways, this sort of seems even closer if you remember this form of the equation of the line. Do you remember what that form of the equation of the line was called? It was called the point-slope form because it had a point and a slope. Very creative name, I know. Um, our vector equation is very similar to that because you have a point and you have a direction. And the direction is the same idea as the slope. Because all C minus A is doing is telling you which way to go, which is what your slope does, tells you how much to go over, how much to go up. So we call this C minus A our direction vector. And there's our equation of our line. The equation of the line has a point, it has a direction, and then it has a parameter t, which just tells you how far you need to go in that direction. 